for example, you. let me bring you on this point on this matter, please. Yes. Yeah, very green, prof. <laughs> Thank you very because, much. And from the governor's perspective, no, gentlemen, don't don't distract me. No, 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 no. We'll do that at the end of the show. Thank you. For example, yes. Don't be tempted to go into this. No, no, I won't go into that. He can't distract me. You see, there should be an elite consensus of you know what we believe to be right and what is wrong in our democratic practice and then also in the way and manner we think our courts and judges should conduct themselves. I, I think that what is right, what is wrong shouldn't be contingent on one's personal idiosyncrasies, one's perceived partisan leanings and then one's belief in different schools of thought so that uh, martin will say if i had if it were me i would have done it like this and bobby will say and um, well they could have also done can't we have an elite consensus on what we all agree Certainty that this is this is right so that we go by it so if we sit here you see we are young my father told me before he died that we should young people we should be challenging the status quo just to bring about development mm -hmm. and not always saying oh he said it um he was not he was not wrong and then but you could have also said it like this and that wouldn't have also been wrong and then so depending on where you stand things go either way i believe that you say, oh, yeah. don't don't yeah, don't die you are not that young okay okay, okay that's fine you, you, want, you want to die no 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 no, no, no. Uh, all right. Yeah, no, 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 no. You are, you are going. You've been raising no. metal. See your chest. Right? You say you are not. Right? Thank you. For example, you so on this particular matter, I thought that um, it could have been handled in a manner that would quickly address the constitutional crisis in which I see um, we plaguing ourselves with, mm -hmm. and then the speaker's application for the stay of execution of the Supreme Court order. I, I completely. No, wasn't the speaker who filed no. the application? I think no. I can. No, 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 no. 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 The, 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 the speaker's application to set aside. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, how it was completely thrown mm -hmm. out. I, I, I thought that see, Speaker Bagman, when he started practicing as a lawyer, I'm sure many of the people on the bench were not even lawyers. Okay, and so I found it difficult to uh, to understand how a judgment could be ruled uh, to, could be given in a manner that suggests that um, just a I dream being it's he was so wrong and his lawyer that eminent that you're sorry you know also was so wrong and nothing was right about um, the motion. Um, that that um, they, they filed uh, in court. I, I thought that ah, um, couldn't we have handled this in a manner that would have given, would have seen some 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 gain, something good. Some semblance. Yeah, ab about about. But all of them unanimously saying that Bagbin's um, case That's has no merit. merit. I said, ah, Bagbin. So he doesn't know any law like that. No, that's not no, what no, it no, means. No, 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 well, well, well. That's not no, what it no, means. No. <laughs> you said what? Okay. That's, that's not what it means. That's not how it works. No, no, no. You see, no, you see, no, you see, no, you see, no, no, you see, no, 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 Straight. You that see? one is no brainer. Uh, things look bad. An MPP okay. member sitting on an MPP case. No, 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 no. no. Let, 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 let Professor Jampo. You see, no, let's put that one. Gentlemen, hold on. I am going to bring all of us to the end. If they want to gang up against you, but they can't. Let Professor Jampo conclude on the point. Let him conclude on the point. Gentlemen, hold on. Hold on. Thank you. Professor Jampo, please. So, for me, the throwing out of Speaker Bagwin's case, I was disappointed. I was surprised. I felt that it, it can never be true that <laughs> there was absolutely no little merit in, oh. in whatever um, he sought uh, to present before the court. And I think that this um, was done in a manner that, in my view, disrespected um, the authority of, of parliament. And, and it festers that, in my view, that bogus attempt to make parliament subservient to the judicial arm of government. I don't think that that would work at all. Because, see, um, long before lawyers came into existence, and long before 
constitutions and laws were made, political thinkers, political philosophers, political theorists, and political scientists exist, existed. Long before what? Long before laws were formulated. In fact, law, law before laws were formulated and constitutions were formulated I and see, lawyers were... Oh, so let me make my point. Yeah, when, when, when we were beaten about the bush, I kept quiet. So, oh, I was beaten about the bush. So, okay. oh, really? so long before lawyers came into existence, long before constitutions were formulated, the okay? The way political the thinkers, political philosophers, political theorists, and political scientists existed and it was their postulations and formulations that gave birth to the promulgations of constitution that's how come john locke is referred to as the father of constitutionalism okay he was the first person to talk about the need for constitutions to check the um, rule of the sovereign and blah 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 it was okay a political thinker so it was a political thinker so they they were already in existence and Many of them had propounded theories that have existed and theories that have given birth to the functioning of the modern day political institutions that we, we, we operate. So you can talk about Baron de Montesquieu talking about um, um, separation of powers, A.V. Dicey talking about um, checks and balances, rule of law, etc., etc. Now, in, in the postulations of these political thinkers, okay, they look at the hierarchy of authority and power. They look at um, the, the, the structures of power and the organs of government. And they argue that these organs of government are independent of each other. So yeah, they are supposed to be separated from each other and they are also supposed to be independent of each other, even though they also make room for checks and balances. But they never argue mm -hmm. that the existence of check checks and balances um, um, is supposed to be exercised in a manner that makes each or any of the organ of government subservient to the other. Okay, so they go on, if you look at all their readings, no, you do readings and look at what they stand for and all that. They try, okay, even though these organs of government are supposed to be equal to each other, they try to, um, to see who is who. And I have been disappointed that some people have spoken more about super constitutional supremacy and are thinking that if you are talking about sovereignty and supremacy, it should always, uh, um, within the state, it should always be, be with constitutions and not with people. Okay? But mm -hmm. who designed constitutions? We the people. Okay? It is human beings mm -hmm. who prepare the constitution. And so you can never talk about constitutional supremacy. If you are talking about supremacy it and sovereignty, it resides more with the people. The people draft constitutions. And among the organs of government, where are the people who drafted the constitution? Where are they located? Where are they adequately and properly represented? Mm -hmm. It is on the floor of parliament. Indeed. I've always, last two weeks, I, I made the point, I'm making the point again, that you need 50% plus one to become the executive president of the land. Not all Ghanaians elected our president. Okay? Now, in other jurisdictions, to make justices of, this, of, of the courts accountable to the people, they are, elected. they are elected. But if you come to our part of the world, judges are appointed. And you are trying to say that, um, but if they are appointed, they are approved by parliament. Um, you see, Martin said um, he is a realist. I'm a super realist. You should be questioning yourself. Why oftentimes members of parliament say, look, this man, we are not going to approve. This one, we are not going to. We are not going to let the person go through. And then all of a sudden, the person goes through. There was this case of one MP, um, nomi uh, one ministerial nominee, that all the uh, minority side um, were at him that, look, this particular nominee were never going to, and they came out publicly, we are never, Ken Oforiata, for instance, didn't you hear? We are not going to approve him. But that nominee that they spoke louder against um, her nomination was the one who even had 
more of the support in terms of votes from the minority. Yeah, from the from from all of them but i'm saying that <laughs> as a realist you should go behind the scenes to question <laughs> what really happened isn't isn't it the 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 expression of the political kingconism structure or um, stature of the president that tries to go through go behind the scenes to manipulate people and arrangements just to be able to ensure that the president's choice is always always so selling through so my point well well, well, well but yes, 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 you are yes, asking what i'm saying on both of them you are asking what i'm saying don't you know, know. no they are less than the blame <laughs> on so, both of them so in, book. Uh, joe wise admitted <laughs> that they are about to do certain business they bring money from the presidency and, and no one yeah, challenged controverted my point. What, what, let, let him conclude. What, what, what is No, no, no. no. Is, All right. Bro, bro, so, so I'm saying, trying to. Oh, please, 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 it is settled, and I said that, you see, many of the lawyers that I've seen, you just went to school to do law. You would have been better served if you had done, I went to school from one to form five and six form. If you had done O-level government, if you had done A-level government, when you went to SHS, if you had done some government before going to do law, I mean, this one is so elementary that the literature is settled on supremacy of parliament. And why do they say supremacy of parliament without even going to the literature, common sense? Where are the people located? It is within the floor of parliament that all Ghanaians, whether you live in the sea, whether you live on land, whether you are in the jungle, you are all represented on the floor of parliament. Okay, you are all represented on the floor of parliament. And to the extent that sovereignty belongs to the people, it is where the people operate and function that you can say that you can locate sovereignty and you can say that they are supreme. And so by this analysis, I would find it difficult. Okay, I'm not saying that parliament should lord it over the other arms of government, mm -hmm. but you see, in the idea of constitutionalism, parliament exists as a countervailing authority to the powers of the executive. So that power must always be in existence to counter the exercise of power. Lord Acton say power absolute um, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so you always need parliament to assert its authority to be able to held in check the, the functioning of the of the of the um, executive arm of government. In much the same way, parliament must exercise you know its functions and, and powers in a manner that, like I argued earlier, not to be seen so much as, look, you are controlling or you are commanding or dictating, you know, to other arms of government, they must peacefully, you know, coexist in, in harmony such that even though I locate or the literature locates sovereignty, um, um, you know, to the, at the doorstep of parliament, it will not be so overbearing and try, be trying to overshadowing um, the other arms of government. And so when parliament, in spite of its powers and its soft supremacy, um, is being asked to, to, to be circumspect and me measured in the way it conducts its activities, mm -hmm. you, you would not expect another arm of government that, like the judiciary to want to make parliament that is sovereign and supreme, subservient um, to it. I, 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 am, I was completely surprised that why are we going this this route that so we want to be in ghana here where parliamentary proceedings will be going on somebody may say look i disagree with what is going on in parliament it takes the matter to um, court to injunct the parliament wait until court settles the matter that does not that that cannot happen in, in within an era of the kind of relationship that is expected to be existing between the arms of government. What I know is a principle of judicial review. When parliament makes law that are unconstitutional, the judges are given the power under the concept of judicial review to take a second look at those laws exactly. and to say whether they are constitutional or unconstitutional. And that is it. You don't stop parliament, you don't grant parliament to a halt. 
um, because you disagree with them. And you see, when we allow this to fester and to go on, we are headed for more a deepened constitutional crisis because I know if parliament truly wants to assert it, its independence and its parliament is headed by the kind of speaker we have today, you can be sure that the speaker would ensure that parliament has asset itself also as a power block and also as a sovereign um, body where um, that provides an avenue for the representation of the people who are the owners of power that these power brokers you know exercise and so you can be sure that if parliament is going to say that look we are not going to pay heed to this we are not going to respect this um and if they are also going to say that we are citing even some members of the courts for contempt for impeding, it. for impeding the flow of their work, where are we going to you know help you? So my point is that we know that Parliament all over the world is a master of its own processes. Everybody knows my position on the ruling of Speaker Okwe, and everybody knows my position on the ruling of Speaker Bagwin. For me, I said they were both wrong, and I've, I've adduced a lot of reasoning to back that. That's, so that is not my focus now. But I'm saying that in going to, um, in taking the matter to court, I think whoever did that was wrong. We could have allowed parliament to sit. We could have allowed leadership of parliament to dialogue. Because parliament is a master of its own process. Let them sit, dialogue. The speaker is a human being. I'm told the day that the Ajahn Sinodain um, he met with the um, with Afinu oh. Makin's oh. um, and, and his group. Yeah. He met with them, and I'm sure that when they met, they didn't they didn't go and fight. They dialogued, and so the speaker is a human being. No, they dialogued before the agenda. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but my point is that so when they went there, they didn't they didn't go and fight, and so. The speaker is a human being, um, majority leadership, minority leadership. You bring all of them together. Let us sit down and talk about what we think will be in the interest of Ghana. Like I said earlier, we should have an elite consensus of what we believe would be good for Ghana and let us all pursue. Rather than doing partisan politics and this intransigence and um, look at, I saw the way a man not the the chief justice was sounding in his in his utterances not conciliatory at all very adversarial and i was wondering what will be going on in the minds of speaker bagman if he gets his day he would also want to also um, speak his mind and okay. at the end of the day where will we be heading to and so this is where i argue that this matter cannot be settled by the supreme court if we want peace if we want to move on as a nation, if we want to ensure that there is no chaos in the lead up to elections, I am happy that I've been told that Council of States have met with Speaker Bagwin. And I want to hope and believe okay. that Council of State would also try and meet with the Supreme Court uh, or the Chief Justices. <laughs> um, around this time, it is not only about law. My lawyer was telling me, um, um, Gary, he said the law is made up of 70% 70 70 common, common sense. sense. Okay, so in my view, given, given what is going on, whatever, the, the way a man that the um, Supreme Court is going about things, the Speaker of Parliament would by all means also raise, you know, show um, the Supreme Court that they are also a power block. Mm -hmm. And indeed, they are the, uh, they, they house the, 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 the the people of ghana yes. they provide the avenue where the people of ghana are properly housed and represented mm -hmm. and so they would also flex muscles and if you are going to allow muscles to be flexed and you will not allow others to come in to intervene to to help then it is going to be difficult you know for us so i'm calling on council of elders a council of state to 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 double up their actions and to make sure that they bring um, both sides together with the purpose of the view to bring in um, effective resolution, win-win resolution, uh, um, 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 resolution um, to this matter. I was working at the IEA during the 20, 2008 elections, and I know that power was never going to be handed over after the 2008 elections. But we know the role that some eminent Ghanaians played behind the scenes. 
the role that certain eminent Ghanaians, uh, you know, played behind the scenes. They didn't sleep. At night, they were calling people, talking to them, and all that. I expect all these eminent Ghanaians to rise up and speak, to rise up and intervene with the view to ensuring that there is a certain resolution of this impasse. Mm -hmm. If you leave it to the Supreme Court alone, I tell you that we cannot have a resolution because Parliament would always assert its authority it also to prove a point that they are also a force to work on with, you know, in terms of the power structure, you know, of the, within the state. Professor Ralph, for example, so, so in fact, there's I'm, someone I'm, just I'm, said to me I'm that I'm uh, actually, uh, law in, in its law in its <laughs> uh, purest sense, in, indeed, uh, undiluted and also very clear, not contaminated. It is nice. But the moment you introduce politics, just a bit of politics into law, you would have created the most potent witchcraft ever created <laughs> in humanity.